another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. Let's talk about the alignment features in Adobe Illustrator. These are a great way to make sure your objects are aligned to each other. You can find your alignment features either up here in this control panel or in your align panel. Something else I want to point out before we start using these is we can align objects to, a, to the selection or we can align objects to the artboard. I'm going to ignore this key object because I'm going to show you a little shortcut in doing that. Let's start with two objects. It's set to align to selection. And what I can say is I can say align those along their left edge. And you can see they lined up on the left edge. Or I could align them on the right edge. I could align them on their top edge or on their bottom edge. Now quite often the feature I probably use the most is I want to align these vertically and horizontally with each other. So I've got these two objects selected. I'm still on align to selection and I'm going to choose center vertically and horizontally and now they're stacked directly on top of each other aligned perfectly. This is a better method than just trying to come in here and visually align things. Now I also have smart guys turned on so it's not too hard to align things perfectly centered on each other if I have that on but if I don't have that on it's really hard to get it perfect I advise using your align features because then you know it's perfect so what if I wanted three objects I could select all three involved and I could align them vertically and horizontally or along the top or bottom whatever I want to do now notice that when I did this all three of these moved their position what if I want to align this green circle on top of this black square but I don't want the square to move I'm going to select both those objects I'm still on align to selection now I'm going to click one more time on the square it's going to get a blue outline meaning that it's the key object and then when I tell it to line, the green circle moves over to where the square is. Okay, I'm going to back up and do that one more time. I must select all three this time. Okay, let's say that the key object I want to be this green circle. Now I'll click on it one more time and then align vertically and horizontally and they all move over here to where the circle was. That's aligned to selection. Let's move on to align to artboard. So when I align things, I can align them in relationship to the artboard, not just the selection. What if I wanted to center this black square vertically and horizontally on this artboard? Well, if I'm only working with one object, which I am in this case, you will find that it's automatically set to align the artboard. And that's what I want. So I'm going to tell it to align horizontally and vertically. And now it's centered perfectly on this artboard. I can do the same with the circle. I've got a single object selected, vertically, horizontally. I could even tell it to align at the bottom, or the left, or the right, or the top. OK. Now a little bit different. What if I select two objects now, or three? That's when I need to make sure that I've changed it to a line to artboard. And now I'm going to do vertically and horizontally. And they all snap right in in the perfect center of that artboard. Or like I said, left, right, wherever you want to align them to. OK, now let's talk one last thing. Actual alignment versus visual alignment. So what I have here is I have a circle and I have a number two that is still a type object and a number two that has been outlined. So if I look at it in outline mode you can see that. Okay. I want to center this two onto this circle. So I'm going to select the two and the circle. Now I don't want the circle to move so I'm going to click on it one more time. Okay. And I need to Tell it to center and center. 
and then I'm going to click off of it and that is actually aligned it's perfectly aligned but visually it looks off there's a couple things going on here this is still a type object so when it centered it it actually considers this rectangle this bounding box what it's looking at and you can see the two looks way too high in the circle so it's taking into consideration this extra space down here where the descenders go that's not doing a very good job for us so as a designer you need to make sure that even though you align it perfectly or actually you might need to go in and adjust that visually so if I were working this way I would analyze this and say the two is too high so now I'm going to nudge it down and look at it and that's looking a little better so I might have to override perfect alignment for visual alignment. So now let's look at how it does with this outline too because you can see the bounding box is completely different. I'm going to align that and I think it did a much better job. In my opinion this appears fairly visual balanced, balanced but maybe I need to nudge it up just a little and maybe a tad bit to the left. I went too far. So I have to come back and make sure that's balanced visually. There are many times when you will align things and it may be perfectly aligned, but you need to have the eye to override that and align things visually. So those are the alignment tools in Illustrator. I encourage you to start adding those to your workflow. Thanks for watching this Illustrator quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.